Joh, ja. Väl, välkommen. Ja, vi tog då en defaun. Dr. Wilhelmina Blodengods. Please to be making your acquaintance. Ja, this is my villa. Villa von Panek, my estate. My personal practice. Ja. So, uh, before we begin to do the diagnosis, I just wanted to uh, start off with this cursory questionnaire. Yeah. Just a, just a cursory questionnaire. It's a perfectly normal and reasonable line of questioning to begin your intake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, um... We talked a little bit on the phone, but I didn't quite catch how you found out about my practice here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, do you have any kind of referral? Oh. Oh. Don't. Oh. Purpose. Don't. How is it going out there on the island? Ah, oh, well, it's just good to know where, where my where my business cards are circulating, so I will put that down. That whole deceased. Um, and now, what was your name again, and how do you spell this? And the last name. Good. I don't know what, what is your age. Good. And to have any next of kin or pets that are taken care of back at home. Uh, do you have any allergies to anything in specific? Mmm, yeah. Which is uh, quite uncommon actually. Did you tell anyone that you were coming here? Mmm. And just for the sake of Doctor patient confidentiality will not be sharing on the information that I write down here with anybody else. So can you please tell me what symptoms you have been experiencing recently? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, that is not good. Particularly excruciating for you was these headaches you are experiencing behind your eye when you're just got your attention and it might be very stressed. Had right. any other procedures done that maybe could be the cause of this headache? Have you changed anything in your lifestyle recently? That might lead to this. Hmm. Okay. Back to back to just some personal questions. How was your travel here to nowhere? Mm -hmm. You feeling nauseous and also symptoms that would be associated with the warping getting out of space time. No, I know I. But that is good. And uh, how will you be paying for this procedure that I'm going to be doing for you? Alright. Um, 
you can do this right now if you want and I will put yeah here I will write it this Makasha Fata I got your phone please on board right. and let me just check my phone now we are writing Oh, and it has gone through perfect, perfect, perfect. And may I please perform a quick physical assessment on you just to check you out a little bit non rise so just palpating. Mm -hmm. I can get a little bit more thorough. Can nail down your diagnosis, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll just set it off to the side here and I have your full consent to touch you all around up and down. <laughs> Good. Get some gloves going. So not everything is Nice and sanitary for you. You said you are not allergic to latex, huh? Yeah, this is good because it's a latex gloves. So let me just get in here. Does it happen a lot like that? We have this cracking in your neck region. Yeah, oh, that is very unsettling. Ah, oh, mm. well. Oh, oh. A little bit. A little bit. Back here in your spine. You've been uh, sleeping recently. To sleep on your side, to sleep on your back, sleep on your face. Oh, that is not recommended at all. That is very silly that you sleep like that. You should maybe try sleeping on your back or your side and get a very supportive pillow for your neck. Cause I do not understand what is going on back here. No. Probably just a little bit of muscle contraction because you are sleeping like a crazy person. So, you know, you came in and we did schedule for this hour, but unfortunately, it is so close to my lunch break. And I feel that that my assistant Inga could handle this and what I feel the diagnosis is for you is just that you have some muscle tension here at the back of your neck causing to your cranium to contract and maybe make you feel like there is a needle behind your eye and that is, that is no good, it is just not good so what I want to have her do is to just come in here and Massage deep tissue massage into the into the affected area. Release all of the tension or inflammation that you might be experiencing from sleeping. So weird, you sleep so weird. Honestly, I just was not a touch to your neck. I cannot believe how you have made it this. Just one year sleeping like that, just crazy, but you know, we'll take care of you. We'll take care. Don't, 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 uh, we'll take care of you. So, uh, we'll take care of you, and everything will be all good. Just want a mandible here. Nice, a little bit of tension in there, but it's normal. Come back 
working over and you will be good to go right my daisy <laughs> yeah yeah and i will be having my lunch yeah mm -hmm. okay we'll just hold tight right here and uh well you know what maybe you'll go over to there and then uh, Inga will come in and uh, i'll be I will just I will just go page her. I will just go be paging her now. Yeah? Okay. Inga. Inga, take care of the patient, please. Yeah, we need it on the foot, on the neck, and on the back, and uh, just a little bit of tension release. And that dog isn't you can do this anyway, so don't worry, we all everything will be all good. Good. Good, 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 good. I am going to go be having my lunch now. So you just go work on the patient and I will be back in just a jiffy.
Warm for a did I hear a loud boom? How is it going in there with the massaging of a patient? Inga, answer me. Inga. I'm just trying to get a watch. Versus start. Inga. This is a unique conundrum, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. In the home. In the home. Okay. So, Europe. Not the Russian your hand is this. Okay. So eyes are open. That is good that the eyes are open. And then I should want the eyes open the ears can probably be the eye. So we just let me. Hey there, sunshine, what is going on in your day today? Mm. Hello there. <laughs> ah. Not completely beheaded. Okay, okay. Oh, my mommy. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I did not mean for this to happen at all. No, this was not my intention. Um, my sincerest apologies for Inga. She is, she, but you know what? We can improve some things. We can, I can improve some things. Everybody could use a little work now and again. Um, you see, Inga used to look a little bit too much like me. And I cut off my head. Yeah, 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 you know Dr. Momo. You are very familiar with all of these. So, uh, Imagine maybe she is a little bit more thankful, and maybe I did not connect all of the pieces the right way. But at least you were smart enough to know to put your head in this container that you still with the elixir of life. Yeah, so you are alive and conscious. Um, this is a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe you will be able to decide this little night or night. But I will do my very best to take care of you and to make sure that you do not sue me because there is now a paper trail considering you are already paid for a massage that you did not get. Okay, well, you. We will come to this bridge when we come to it and we will pass over it with, with no problems. I guarantee this to you. So, my little friend, my now little friend, in there, um, I will reattach you once I find your body. Yeah, I do not know where that is at this time. Please. Try not to try not to move or speak. It is very unsettling. Would you know? Oh, it gives me a chill up and down my spine. I tell you what. So, uh, yeah, I am going to need you to just hold tight there in your little kitty pool, and then I will find Inga and strangle her. Ah, uh, no, I must strangle her. I will fall off. 
either. Give her good lashing and then we will get you white as rain. Oh, guy. <laughs> Let me work on trying to find your puppy now. Don't, don't drink a boss at Alexa. Don't drink a boss at Alexa. That would be very, very bad. Oh, guy. Don't look at my skirt, Jesus. That is just rude. Oh, guy. Inga. Inga. Inga, where's the body? Inga, where are you? Now, where are you hiding? And also, where is the body? Inga? 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 Yeah. Inga, did you be heads of my problem? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Fire. Why would you do this? that you will not get any of your dresses on me. I will now take you out of your bubble. Yeah, oh, so it was a hyperbolic chamber, just keeping the table and life more than the other. Little Michael, really. like she, she has a very good meaning, I swear. But um, her mess is a small place, I don't know where she learned it from. <laughs> and if I will take the go now. Inga, Inga, bring the body, please. Bring it, bring it over here. Thank you. 
Walls. Please perform a cranial nerve exam on the new patient.
vai que... Ah, so, how is it going, yeah? Oh, but it's just close to uh, all Hallows Eve, so of course you want to be appropriate. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, I still have a headache. <laughs> oh, that is, that is not good. Well, you know, at least, at least it is only a headache still and not everything else that has happened to you. By the way, I am just going to check you out here a little bit to make sure that everything is looking good. You've been sleeping for a few days now. So like I said, it is a little bit closer.
what's happened now? The eye. This is a total cardiac arrest of the Yeah, look at all the bodies all contorted. How does that work for your sake? Well, you don't know what this means, yeah? We will have to call them. So now I need some disposal of the system to see our agent kick. Uh -huh. Agent Koenig, I need you to just send someone over from the organization who can help me with this problem. Yeah, I will pay my dues. Good, good. Holy descending. This is the silence. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the closest. Oh, but just one. One can do the job done. Yeah. yeah, I am looking at the right now. It is a dawn there, I assure you. So you will send him one? Good. Thank you so much for your assistance. I will be preparing you the money. I'm not sure what you do with your girl, but I have taken care of the problem, everyone. Taken care of the problem. Hmm. There could be a little bit of a mix still left in there, but you know what? It's not worth squeezing it out. Oh, I just wait for the sister. Oh, I hope it is not simple. Oh, I see. is all I care about. Do not want to be recorded into your cult, but please give the organization my blessing for the expedited service from the Sisters of Silence.
look at this. This is behind the scenes magic. Wow. It's like Jim Henson's future show. It's amazing. Get that all over there. Okay, maybe, ooh. Uh-oh, ooh, she might have slipped a little bit. Oh, that's scary. Um, happy Halloween.